Hey guys, welcome back to Fly Chick TV. As you can see, my hair is already pre-done, basically ready. I am doing a soft glam quick video. But first and foremost, I use eyebrow pencil for my brows. I did that off camera just to quicken up the process. I'm just going to show you what I use to prep my skin. So I use my drops here, my e.l.f. drops, oops, okay, my e.l.f. drops. I use my e.l.f. primer, grit primer. This is what I use. This will be my eyeliner, Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution. This is what I use to conceal my brush. So I kind of go through a couple brushes. I don't always use the same brush all the time depending on what I'm doing and if I feel like switching up a brush. I am one M173 brush. Concealers that I'll be using for this look. My Fenty Beauty in the color 430. Tarte Shape Tape. This is for my brow gel. This is what I use to tame my brows before I do anything else. I have my bronzers, Juvia's Place, Kali bronzer, as I use for contour. And as an eyeshadow, I'm debating. I might not do eyeshadow, I might. I'm kind of doing like a very natural glam. All right, you guys, let's get straight into this tutorial. First, I went in with my Juvia's Place bronzer set to duo, and I ended up using that for an eyeshadow transition color just to give me a nice brown undertone before I decided to use eyeshadow itself. I was debating to use eyeshadow, but I was like, I want to do a soft glam. I want to do something cute. I don't want anything over the top. Straight to the point. Very simple and very easy. You guys, I literally did this in like five minutes. So the next step, I used my 35X Morphe palette. And I went with the, in with those three colors that I'm actually tapping into. And I just briefly put it in. I didn't take too long. I don't want to overdo eyeshadow. I just want it to be simple to the point and easy to do. What I was doing was I was patting and patting, patching it into my skin and also blending at the same time. Then when I went in with the lighter shade around my eyebrow where I had already placed my concealer to kind of give it a blended look so it doesn't look too harsh on the edges. So that's what I did and then I went back in with those two color those three colors to kind of put it back into place. So now as y'all can see, I'm showing you guys a full look of the eyeshadow before I even added my gel liner so you guys I'm really loving this look it was really cute and straight to the point another close-up for you guys like I said and then I went in with my makeup revolution and I actually used the angle brush this time around to actually do my eyeshadow not my eyeshadow you guys my eyeliner and it was working like matte it was working amazingly I'm not gonna say magic because I don't believe in magic but yes, you guys, it looked really good when I got done. It was looking really pretty. Damn, I should have left it like that. I couldn't see what I was doing, y'all, because I was trying to, like, focus on the camera and also focus on you guys without... So, you guys, I went in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer, which I did use that to kind of fix the areas that I messed up on my gel liner. And I kind of just carved it into this way that I want to. Sometimes I can get away with my, eye sh my gel liner looking really good without me having to go back in and fix up the areas but today i think i just needed a little bit more time and practice on gel liner i used to be really good but for some reason i haven't been doing it for a while so i kind of got a little rusty but all right you guys i'm going in with make makeup by mario makeup by mario one of the best foundations that i've actually used in a very long time it's very easy it feels like skin it looks like skin and it blends in perfectly Literally, I'm doing a voiceover, you guys, while I'm still wearing this makeup. Dedication is real. I didn't even give it a day. I'm literally recording ASAP. So I have setting spray from Makeup Revolution as well. That is also $9 at Ulta. Very good setting spray. Very much, very gets the job done. It can hold your makeup for like 6, 7 hours to 12 hours if you really don't do much with it. But alright you guys, this look was giving very much that girl. It was giving very much soft glam. As y'all can see, I got done pretty quickly. Like I told y'all, I don't take too long on my makeup unless I'm really going somewhere. And I really want to take my time. I've never really seen myself do makeup for a whole hour. 
let me not say that I have, but sometimes when you want to make it quick, you make it quick. All right, you guys, so I'm using my Shape Tape Sharp. I can't even say this thing right. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm also going back in with that Fenty Beauty Concealer. And then before I even conceal, I went back in with my Juvia's Place Palette to make sure that I placed my contour where it needed to go. I'm not really heavy on contour anymore because I felt like it made me look a little muddy. So I decided to use like a bronzer to be my contour mostly so it's not looking overly done. And then with brushes guys, it's very important to be very gentle with a brush and also making sure you are kind of buffing in the product and not really rubbing it in. As y'all can see, I'm tapping. I'm not tapping and rubbing, I'm tapping, tap, 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 tap. And then I'm actually pressing in the product as well. It's the motion that you just kind of get used to. Then I'm also tapping that in in the center of my nose. And then I go back into my forehead as well. As y'all can see, the forehead needs to be blended as well. And then I kindly went into my, uh, I was looking for my, yeah, I was looking for my Juvia's Place to kind of replace where I had put the contour so it doesn't look uneven. All right, you guys, I went in with my Huda Beauty Blondie in the color Blondie. I didn't use too much powder today because I didn't, I'm not going anywhere super important. I just filmed this video for you guys because I know y'all been waiting for some videos and I've just had a lot going on, honestly, but I just was like, let me film something, let me crank something out because my subbies, my fly chick babes are waiting for a new video and I also want to continue to be consistent. So I went in with my um, Sephora based setting powder to set everything in so everything can be seamless and perfect then i went in with my uh huda beauty batty berry uh, blush honestly i did not bl blend it in too well at the end of this video because i noticed that my camera was actually dying on me as i was trying to finish this filming and literally this is when my camera cut so i'm about to put in the next clip so you guys can see how my look looked at the end of this video so i hope you guys are enjoying so far Let's get into it. I died last minute when I was pretty much done with my look. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Sephora lipstick. Sorry that is diagonal. Unfortunately, I have a horrible tripod as well. And I just need to buy some new YouTube equipment because it's going to go with it for now. It's going to go with it for now. And I'm going to go back in with my pencil. I'm using like three different pencils. This is the chestnut one. To kind of, I need to sharpen these damn pencils. They are horrible. I like the other line. I'm gonna go in with the color Sofe. Sofe by Remedy by Ari. These liners are pretty decent. They're pretty good. I like them. Very easy to use. I overline my lips, they're already big, but I like them a little bit more bigger. I like to overline my lips. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with this pink right here. This NYX pink. Uh, okay. I'm going go with that. I'm gonna go with pink matter. So I'm kind of doing a light pink and a dark pink. They're both light pinks, but I like to over draw small lips with lip gloss. To give you the perfect pink. Okay. And it's okay. 
beef because it happens. And then I'm gonna go in with barely there as the gloss top and top it off with a gloss. This lip honestly took me about 20 minutes to do. If I wasn't filming, I'll say 10. Cause I did not overdo it. I just showed you guys everything that I was doing. Pretty much done with that. Time to take out my Alright you guys, so this is the final look. Hair is curled. Pre-curled my hair before the video. Well, no, a few days ago because this is actually for something else. But the look is done. I got this done in 30 minutes, really 18 minutes. When I looked at my timer on my camera, I had fully finished my face in 18 minutes, okay? Quick and so... Yeah, I'm going to be doing a voiceover on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just me at home doing a quick get ready with me, quick glam up video for you guys. Because a lot of people have been requesting for me to do a beat under 20 minutes or a beat that's simple and easy to follow. So I'm going to do a voiceover for you guys. The hair is giving gorgeous, very much pretty. Um, yeah, you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the makeup. Little my baby. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. We just need to slow the motion. Don't get out of way, you know.